<sighs> Good morning to my favorite family on YouTube. What? I can't vlog? Shoulda! It's Cousin Salah last day here. Um, we just woke up. It's 2.55 p.m. Haven't eaten. Haven't done anything. And he's making me take him to go eat. So I'm going to take him to my favorite burrito spot. By the way, look at what my cousins did, y'all. Check that out. I don't have a door right now, so anybody can come in and out. They're too feisty, they wrestle, they're crazy. And yeah, the guy's fixing the door right now. And I don't even have my keys, so this is this is crazy. All right, I'll see y'all at the burrito joint, all right? Well, I might see y'all before then. Why do I say that? Because then I'm limiting myself. Wherever I'm gonna see you next, I'm gonna see you, all right? Peace. Guys, Salah's been talking to me all kinds of reckless because he thinks he's daddy AF. Why do you think you're daddy AF? Say that. Yeah, you did. You said just because I'm sexy? Well, I can't think I look good. Just because he has nice hair and a nice jacket? Yeah. You gotta hate on everybody else? You know, that's how we roll. Are you daddy AF? No. Is Bilal daddy AF? No. Am I daddy AF? No. Is Ariani Celeste mommy AF? Hell yeah. Oh. <laughs> I can read my cousin so easily. It's too easy. Anyways, we're going to get burritos. Is it on you, Saleh? Uh, yeah, it's on me. He's cheating me out then. <laughs> so I told Saleh, I was like, dude, I can't believe some people actually said y'all are hot in the vlog. And he was like, what do you mean? And I was like, people thought you look good. We do look good, motherfucker. <laughs> What? You, uh, you're my little. You just point me, man. You're my little cousin, so I never thought like people would look at you and say you're hot. Like you're just, yeah, right. you're like the little cousin. I guess you learn something new every day. So you see yourself hot? Don't ask me stupid questions, man. <laughs> Y'all heard him. It's time for this. <laughs> he thinks he's hot. Fucking <laughs> asshole! I swear, dude. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not laughing at you. I'm just saying, it's funny. Like, yeah, it's funny. We are at my favorite burrito spot of all time called Taco Love. Saleh had to get no cheese and no sour cream because he's lactose intolerant. How many of you can feel his pain right now? How many of you are lactose intolerant? I got everything in mind. California burrito. It means it comes with french fries in the burrito. So it's bomb. Let me show them. Take a bite out of it. Oh. Bomb. See? First bite, he knew it was bomb. It's delicious. Salah said the reason I gain weight so easily is because I eat so fast. Because he's there. It's really dumb. It's just hard. Now I'm already done. I do eat very fast, my whole life. My mom, like my mom used to get so mad at it. It might be the reason I can't wait so easy, is all I said, so I don't know. We're at the mall right now. I always hope I don't see a tubian when I'm at the mall, because look how I'm dressed again. My cousin actually got mad at me. He was like, dude, honestly, all you wear is sweats? He does. Because look, because he's so fresh. Salah, show him something. What's up? Like, pose for him. He's shy, but everybody comes to the mall dressed up and stuff, and I come like a bum with my toes out, hair on my toes, sweats. I got a hole at the bottom of my sweats. Where is it? It's here. I'm just a mess, all right? I'm just a mess. I don't like shopping. I don't like spending time shopping. I wear this jacket six days out of the week. I'm a mess. <laughs> Let's see if anybody comes up. Are you that guy? This guy right now in the elevator was like, you know who you look like? I was like, who? He goes, that dude who does pranks, Fushi Tube. I smiled, and then five minutes, like now five seconds later, I was like, dude, all right. And I shook his hand, I was like, that's me. He didn't recognize me because I look so bummy. So if y'all want to see how bad I actually do look when I go out, I'll show you guys. <laughs> that was my thumb through the hole. <laughs> Oh man, that was bad. So what you get in? Joe's jeans. Joe's jeans? Yeah. Why are you a baller? Dang, so I like balling on them. I don't even know what Joe's jeans are. Can you buy me a pair? No. Please? 
If okay, here's the rule: if you buy yourself a pair, you gotta buy me a pair. Dude, are they gonna fit on you? That's like the tenth time my cousins have called me fat this weekend. I'm done. I'm done with them. We are now following international superstar Saleh Kadura. Saleh, can I come in the fitting room with you? Please? No, no, can I come in? So I can tell you how it fits. Okay, I'll wait for you right here. International superstar Saleh Kadura. What a hater. See, my cousins be some hater. Ooh, look at this boy, though. You get to see the bumminess in three angles now. This is for the kids rapping in the high stands. He also is hitting on my nails early. I don't think they're that bad. <sighs> Bum life. What can you do, man? I'll sit next to my friend. Since we look the same. <laughs> Damn, international star. Don't mind what he did to the bottom, but I told him these jeans are hot. He said they're too skinny, but he just has to get a tailor. That's why he did that, but they're actually nice. Turn around, let him see. They're nice, man, I'm telling you. They're not too skinny at all. How about the color, though? Huh? How about the color? The color is nice. It looked much better when he didn't do that. Well, yeah, I know, but I want to see like, how it like, actually looks. How does it feel being an international superstar? Oh, it's whack. It is? Fucking weird people following around with vlog cameras and just taking pictures of you trying on jeans. So, I don't know. Oh, damn. Talk about keeping it real. I went and got him those pants because other ones didn't fit him. Let me just sit here and mind my own business. <laughs> uh, Thanks for getting me the slim fits, you know. And that's exactly what I asked for, though. I say get them. They're nice. I want to try some, like, at least one more pair. Okay. He's about to get in the fight, he's hell stupid, talking to this fool at the shop. You didn't like Pride Land? You didn't like Pride Land? You want a refund, bruh? You want a refund for Pride Land? Here you go, bruh. I ain't got a dollar, so I'm gonna give you a 20, bruh. You want a refund? What's up, bruh? See me in the streets, I'll refund you. J. Cole said it, bruh. You don't like Pride Land? What you still staring at me for? You wanna have a blinking contest, bruh? Let's go. Let's, Let's go. It. Let's go, bruh. He Try, broke his head. I think he broke his head. You already broke his head, dude. I think I'm gonna give him a fade. Real broke quick. his head. Should I give him a fade? Give him a fade. <clears throat> lucky. You lucky. You smart. You loyal. You a genius, cuz. You lucky, bruh. You lucky. So I'm hella sad that my cousins left, that I came to get comfort food. So I came to my favorite pizza joint. And he hooked it up. I always got love for Yusuf. For no reason, he just said this is on me, and I was like, all right, well, happy new year. So I'm happy for that. Now I'm about to go watch some Netflix and be sad that my cousins are gone and I'm by myself and everything, but I do appreciate it. You know, people actually did ask me to come with them to get pizza. Because remember how in the other vlog I said, if y'all ever in the area, let me know and we'll come grab a pizza? Yeah. A bunch were like, we'll go, but I was busy at the time. So I owe y'all, I owe y'all, I know I said it, but here you guys go if you want to come. And I got you next time, I promise. So, I guess tonight it's just me, Netflix, a dirty apartment, and some bomb pizza. And I know I had a burrito earlier today, and now I have pizza. Like, usually, like when I lived in the Bay Area, I would have like one, you know, bad meal a week, maybe. Like, one meal a week would be like, ooh, I'm gonna get in and out today. And now the fact that I live in LA, like, I know I was doing better when I was working out with Brad, but now that like I stopped working out for a bit, the fact that like I'm having like in and out for breakfast and then pizza for dinner, it's like, what are you doing, bruh? Snap out of it, snap out of it. They see the double chin, but it's comforting and that's dangerous. Like I eat um, cause I like how it makes me feel. You know what I mean? Like the, the, like it's a, Comfort meal, it's dangerous, bruh. But I'm about to grub, so about to watch my show and eat the whole pizza. All right, talk to you soon. Uh, all right, guys, I feel like complete. You guys knew I was gonna say this after what you saw what I was eating, but I feel like complete crap. Um, I ate so much chips too, and I'm just like, ugh. So, anyways, I'm gonna end the vlog right here. Um. This is the first time you guys have seen me sad, but not like depressed sad. This is just sad that like, 
I don't know, man. Just recently, I was telling you guys in another vlog, I got closer to, like, my mom and, you know, my brother. And now I'm, like, closer with my cousins and there's nothing like family, man. And the fact that they were all in my apartment and their positive vibes and energy was here, like, I don't express it to them. I usually don't express it to a lot of people, even when I like a girl. Like, I have to get really, like, you know, in my feelings. So it's, it's odd that actually I share so much with you guys because I don't express it to them. But just being around them and having a good time. And this goes to my friends, too. When I, when I have friends who I truly... And that's why when something happens to me and friends, I get sad because I love people who make me happy so freaking much and just being around my cousins makes me so happy and they don't understand that like we might just be sitting here and they think like we're not doing anything but I appreciate it so much and just I, I just don't want it to end and I just feel so happy when I'm with them that was probably the hardest thing about moving to LA to like chase my dream like the fact that I left my mom and dad um and left my family because my whole family is on the east coast now and I'm the youngest and I'm here on the west coast and just the fact that I'm alone I don't know I'm not trying to sound like you know a pity story <laughs> my family's healthy I have my family but I'm just saying it's different when you go visit somebody's house and you leave and when you have people at your house and they leave because then all that energy and love that is filling your house and apartment is gone when they leave and you're left on your couch eating pizza in a dirty apartment <laughs> anyways i love you guys so much um thanks for watching another vlog i really appreciate that give this video a big thumbs up for me um thanks for 200,000 views on the pride land video truly appreciate that um it'll be killer if that video ever like in the span of a couple of years that we do Dosa Fusi, it gets a million views, so that'll be really cool. So if you're ever bored one day, just go watch the Pride Land video. And since if you're watch if you're watching this far, you're gonna watch what I have to say. So I'll just say this too. Um, it's hella funny, you know, re just reading some comments like on Facebook and stuff, and you know, thing about people going out of their way to let me know that the song sounds horrible because I feel sorry for those people because those are the people who don't have the guts to try anything that might get them criticized for in their lives and they're stuck doing the same thing their whole life. So to have a guy come out who's never done music and say, hey guys, I wanna do a song, I'm gonna do a rap song, I don't know how to dance, I'm gonna dance in the video and do a rap song and perform it and release it to hundreds of thousands around the world. If anything, that should inspire you to be like, holy shit, I can do anything I want in life. This loser can't dance and he's dancing. He can't rap and he's rapping. Oh my God. You know, I know I'm not a confident person, but in reality, guys, that takes a lot of confidence, bruh. That ain't easy. So I do appreciate everybody who saw for what it's worth. And then, you know, and who didn't criticize the song like I'm a professional rapper on Signed to Dreamville or OVO. You know what I mean? Like... It's whatever, because the love was so strong on it, I don't even care. I know at least one of you right now is riding in their car in the morning or at night or whatever, and they feel a sense of happiness and joy and just feel proud knowing that they're part of the Dosa Fusi family when that song comes on. And that's who I did it for. I love you guys so much. I say that so much, and I feel like a lot of y'all don't hear it. Um... If you guys want to see me on tour this month or just come and see me perform Pride Land and have a good time, the link is in the description below. A bunch of United States cities. Alright guys, that's enough for today. I'm going to pass out, probably wake up at 2pm tomorrow and nah, I'm getting back to work. I got to launch the Dosa Fusi show. I got to I gotta do a lot. I'm behind on so many things. I got to produce Fusi 2 videos. Alright, enough talking. Love you. Peace. Bye. <gasps>